Plants are a key ingredient in J.K. Rowling's Wizarding World, where they're used to make potions, and supplies can be found in the apothecary of a certain Mr. Mulpepper. His name might sound a little bit like another exhibit in the show, The Complete Herbal, by one Nicholas Culpepper. So Culpepper really was a, really a herbal hero. He was the guy who revolutionised medicine in Britain. He took the power from the physicians and gave it back to the common people. Nicholas Culpepper grew up in the Sussex countryside here in Isfield. So this footpath here would have been the exact footpath that young Culpepper would have walked down from his grandfather's church over to the village. And it's here he would have learned all about the flowers and the plants of the English countryside. This lovely plant here is uh, willow herb. Now, Culpepper says the plant is uh, really good for, uh, for sore mouths if you gargle with it. He also says it's good for uh, secret parts. Uh, not entirely sure what he's referring to there. Now, stinger nettles, they can hurt, of course. They can be very stingy, but they're also very good for your health. They can cure dog bites, snake bites, gangrene, nosebleeds, all sorts of things. There's a whole page of it in Culpepper. We've got some yarrow here, which is uh, similar to, to sneezewort, which is uh, used in Harry Potter cures wounds, inflammation, ulcers, but it's also very good for, uh, for toothache. Oh, good for piles as well. <laughs> Remedies like these weren't known to everyone, just an elite few. Those with a license from the College of Physicians, whose fees were extortionate. Back in the 1600s, the physicians were in charge of all the medicine. They had all the knowledge, all written in Latin in a big book. It was out of bounds to all the common people. And what Culpepper did was he took that book, he translated it into English. He told people they can get their own medicine and where to go and find it. So the physicians, of course, were outraged by this. Their secrets were out. However, it was too late. For the first time, the people, instead of relying on these physicians and paying lots of money, could actually go out into the hedgerows, into the fields, and find their own cures. And that's what they did. The book was published almost 400 years ago, and it's still in print today. In the 1600s, you could buy it on a street corner, you can buy it online today. It's the book that's been in print for the longest, apart from the Bible. Culpepper's book has special significance for J.K. Rowling. Oh, yes. I know this book. This is Culpepper's complete herbal, and I own two copies of this. Am I allowed to touch this? I will be ter tremendously careful. I'm so scared. <laughs> oh, wow, look. It's not even the properties of the plants. It's just the way that they wrote about the plants and observed them and tied them to planetary movements and so on. There's such a poetry to it. Oh, yes, it is fat unctuous and temperate, generated of that which is moist, aerious and moderately hot. I love it. <laughs>